Tried cocaine for the first time today And now I know why the junkies smile They coddled me tight like a newborn child And told me everything would be alright Hope you're a drunken sailor with a wandering soul And you never find love at all In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about podcasts. Podcasts are something that have become a huge aspect of my life over the past year. And when I first started listening to podcasts, I was listening to them on Apple's native podcast app. Now, I pretty much always try to use the Apple native apps whenever I can. I feel like they tend to work better, they're just faster. But I have had so many issues with the Apple native podcasting app that one day I decided to do a little bit of research and figure out if there were any alternatives out there and I stumbled upon a bunch, and I feel like not enough people know about the podcasting alternatives. So I wanted to make this video to just kind of talk about an app that I have been using all the time. I know I spend a large majority of my life on this app because of how often I listen to podcasts, and that is Overcast. So throughout this video, I'm going to just show you the different features of Overcast and why I like it so much. I'm also in Asheville, North Carolina right now, which is a destination that I've wanted to get to for a very, very long time. This is my last day here. We did a little bit of hiking, a little bit of exploration, you know, just kind of hung out. Pretty cool spot. So throughout this video, I'm just going to be kind of showing you Asheville, North Carolina while talking about the different features that Overcast has. Perhaps my favorite feature of Overcast is the ability to listen to different podcasts at different speeds. Now most people don't know this, but you don't have to listen to the podcast you're listening to at the speed in which it was recorded. So if you want to get through more podcasts in a shorter amount of time, I highly recommend listening to podcasts at a quicker speed, something like 2x or 1.5x. Now the native podcast app allows you to do that. You can just set like 2X or 1.5X, but where Overcast succeeds is that it allows you to set custom speeds per each individual podcast. So for example, if you listen to a podcast like Sam Harris, let's say, and he's just throwing a ton of information at you and you're pretty much, if you're anything like me, you're not gonna absorb all of it anyway. You just kinda wanna get through it fast. And so for something like Sam Harris, I'll set his podcast to 2X speed. Something like Joe Rogan, I'll typically listen to at like 1.5x. Something like Bill Burr, where I'm just kind of listening to fall asleep and to relax. I'll listen to him at the speed it was recorded. I don't know what I was thinking, mistake with the script, whatever, but I cannot listen to podcasts at 2x speed. The most I can really do is like 1.5. I typically do most of them at 1.25. Also, I really apologize for the autofocus in this video. I use the GH5 and um, I thought I could get away with using the autofocus. Turns out I can't. Once again, I apologize. Definitely will not be using the autofocus in the future. Speaking of listening to podcasts at different speeds, Overcast also has a function called Smart Speed. Now, what Smart Speed does is it actually analyzes the waveform to find breaks within the conversation. So if two people are talking and there's some space within the conversation, like dead air basically, Overcast will automatically fast forward that so you don't have to listen to it, thus allowing you to listen to podcasts at different speeds. And just like with the last feature, you can actually set Smart Speed on certain podcasts. So for some podcasts, you don't have to have Smart Speed on and others you can, it's up to you. And I hope that you get what you deserve, though I know that it won't be much. Cause you can bleed for another disease with the colored girls singing their martyr songs and howling from the back of the bus. June 26th, 2018. Back on track with his hair slicked back and a gun hanging out of his pants. He didn't cry when his mama died. Another feature that I absolutely love is the ability to 
customize the fast forward intervals. So with the default podcasting app, you have to fast forward at 15 second intervals. Whereas with Overcast, you can completely customize the intervals. So for example, I use 30 second intervals, which I think is just the perfect amount of time to be able to fast forward through commercials or through segments that you don't like. Another feature that I didn't think I would love as much as I do is the playlist feature. Now the playlist feature is really cool because you can kind of group all of your podcasts into similar type of podcasts. So for example, I listen to a lot of the Barstool podcasts, so they have their own playlist. And then like Joe Rogan and all of his friends like Ari Shafir, Duncan Trussell, Joey Diaz, they have their own playlist. And with the playlist feature, it just really allows me to stay as organized as possible and just allows me to listen to the right podcast for the right mood on it. Another feature I want to mention is the voice boost feature. Now, I don't actually use it, use it, but I can see how it could be really handy. So basically what voice boost is, from what I understand, it's just a limiter built into Overcast. What a limiter does is basically it takes the lowest parts of the audio and the highest parts of the audio, and it kind of just brings them together. So it basically just helps the production of the podcast sound better. Like I said, I don't use it because most of the podcasts that I listen to are produced very, very well. Um, but if you're listening to like more of an amateur podcast, I could see how the voice boost feature would be very helpful. These are some guys I just met here in Asheville. How's it going? What's up? What's up? Um, what podcast app do you use? Um, uh, probably just like Apple. That was the Apple one. Yeah. The yeah, app, just like iTunes. it's called podcasts. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so, are you like you know about other options? Um, not really. So I just met those guys. I don't know how well I caught that interview, but basically when I asked them what podcasting app they use, they all said the native Apple podcast app. So that is why I'm making this video. Another feature that I actually just discovered is called Smart Resume. Now what Smart Resume does is when you press pause on a podcast, it'll actually restart it at a smart spot. So it's not gonna restart it in the middle of a sentence or in the middle of a word, and it'll always rewind it. So basically when you pause and press play again, you're starting at a perfect spot. <clears throat> Overall, I mean, I definitely just say that the Overcast app is just a sleeker, more user-friendly, just better design. It actually even works better too. Like for example, the album art is always up to date with Overcast as opposed to like the normal podcast app. I feel like sometimes the album art is just like the normal default podcast album art and not individualized based off the episodes. Also the show notes just work better on Overcast. Like they use like the HTML. So like if the person wants to put links in the show notes, they always work on Overcast. Overall, Overcast is definitely just a better user-friendly experience. Here are some more miscellaneous features. Works with Apple CarPlay and Apple Watch. Allows you to choose between auto-playing or not auto-playing the next episode in the playlist, which is great for falling asleep. It has dark mode, although I don't use dark mode. As with everything, there are a few negatives to using Overcast. The first, and the first thing you really see upon downloading the app, is that there are ads. They're super small and in the bottom, and you can actually pay to have those removed. I, of course, just use the free version, and I don't think the ads are that big of a deal, but if you wanted to, you would have to pay a little bit to not see ads. The second negative to Overcast is that it's not made by Apple, so it doesn't work quite as well in the Apple ecosystem. So for example, like if you wanted to share a podcast episode via a text, or you wanted to play an episode using HomePod, like HomePod or Siri, play Siri, play an episode, Siri, play JRE 491. It might not work as well, but not that big of a deal. I would definitely say that the positives of Overcast far outweigh the negatives. That's it. That is my Overcast review vlog tutorial in Asheville, North Carolina. Do you need the app? No. Should you get it? Yes. Will it increase your productivity? Definitely yes. What do I think of Asheville, North Carolina? I think it's a pretty cool place. Just like everywhere else, maybe a little bit overrated, but would I recommend coming here? I'd say yes. You know, overall, great oh, food. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I just got in trouble for saying it's overrated. But people don't realize that a lot of times when I say something's overrated, I don't mean it's bad. I just think it's rated high. Like people just talk about it like it's like the best place ever. And it, you know, it's it's not. I mean, it's cool. Like I would def like I said, I definitely recommend coming here. Great vibes, great food, great hiking, great outdoors. I definitely check this place out. Lastly, one thing I just wrote down that I wanted to mention is if there are any podcast developers out there um, or just software developers in general watching this video, here is my million dollar idea and that is I want there to be a podcast app that I could listen to a podcast with another person who's somewhere else at the same time. So like basically like two people would kind of like log into the same server and you press play and both people could be listening to the podcast at the exact same time so they can kind of like be talking to each other in remote locations while listening to the podcast at the same time. I think it would be a super killer idea, super killer feature. That's my million dollar idea. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you want to uh, subscribe to my Instagram, it's at Mike, the letter X Gorman. I do a ton of behind the scenes, just kind of showing my day-to-day -to -day life. Feel free to subscribe. Peace.